Fair, Andrew? Marriage has to come before the bow? Yeah, I mean, it, it depends, right? Um, I would say, yeah, probably. I would, uh, yeah. I would, I would still wait for the mirror. But I don't see anything wrong with showing respect. I'm not bowing to a, to a, a boyfriend. Man by bowing. <laughs> but bowing you know, earlier, when I'd asked you, I said, "Would you ever do it?" You said, "No." But it seems like now we have kind of a change in the position here. Well, no, you're you're correct. We do bow to the Lord, and if it's a godly marriage, then. Of course, that's that's very different. Well, you said not bound to the boyfriend. I'm not bound to a boyfriend, but if we are... Should, should a man provide before you're married? So, like, first dates, you're down to split the first date? No. The, the man should pay on the first date? Yes. But you're not married? I understand, but he is still trying so to prove that he, he can he... provide in order to be so married. So you're not willing to be submissive to him until you're married? In the bow, yes. <laughs> well, I'm assuming there's other ways too, but you're um, expecting him to provide yes. prior to marriage, but he doesn't get any benefits. He does until... get the benefit. He gets the benefit of my time. Of it's... You get the exact same thing from him though. Yeah. Right. You but, get his time, he gets your time. Yes, but I still don't think a bow is like, oh my gosh, she bowed. I have to marry her. I don't think that's the whole like, I don't know. I don't know. But you said you're not willing to be submissive until you're married no 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 because if we are dating we are dating to marry mm -hmm. so that already there's already submission within that but i don't think what, the bow what would, wait, specifically what would, be the, what would be the submission within that whereas in we are already um like together building a foundation what does that, yeah, what what does that have to do with being submissive just by virtue of you dating each other doesn't mean you're submissive yes it does what i mean in this culture because there is women who have a roster who will be dating multiple men so like going back to those old traditions and being like okay we decide to be exclusive well a woman could that be monogamous a little bit submissive a woman could be monogamous and still not be submissive although if it hit, i suppose if it's her will and desire to be dating multiple men but mm -hmm. she she then that's not that dating be, to marry that be, that's not that would be a terrible dynamic though if a man had to get submission from his woman to be monogamous that would be a terrible dynamic but um but you wouldn't be submissive what would he mean by being submissive just the bow specifically i mean deferring to his leadership okay then of course i don't want you to go to nightclubs i don't want course. you to go to bars i don't want you to drink of course i don't want you to party of course mm -hmm. i don't want you to post promiscuous photos on instagram of course okay so are you saying that's... It's just interesting. You Okay, well, you're kind of relating it all back to the bow, but I'm still a little... Uh, you're so stuck on the bow. That's why I keep bringing it up, right? Well, I mean, like, <laughs> you kind of... Don't you want to be submissive in all matters and in all ways? Yes, if we're dating to marry, yes. Okay. So I... Bringing it back, I guess, to the waiting until marriage thing. Mm -hmm. You said... I was confused because you said... Like your justification for the change up there was you had a bad relationship in said bad relationship, you had premarital sex. Right. Ergo, are you saying that because you had premarital sex, that's the reason for the bad relationship? No, I'm not I, sure if that's the connection that makes sense. Um, no, it wasn't a bad relationship. We had great times, but I do oh, think. Oh, didn't you? Well, what? I, don't I meant that. You, what, I, you said it was like. I got the understanding or impression that it was negative in some way. No, well, I mean, to me it was negative because we did do it the ungodly way. We did have premarital sex, and um, but he's not a bad guy or a bad person, or we didn't have bad times. But um, oh, okay. my next relationship, I would want it to be godly. I would want to wait till marriage for were, were sex. Were you religious? Is you being religious a new thing? Or were you also a Christian prior? Like no, I um, I mean I was like baptized as a kid and everything, but I wasn't like going to church every weekend, or I wasn't just um, I wasn't so in my faith as I am now. Okay, so you've become more religious. Um, hmm, okay, and so just to be clear, you are the next person you're going to date. You are going to wait until marriage to have sex yes. not just because some girls will say well i want to meet the guy that i want to marry but we can have sex before marriage no. but it has to be the guy that i'm pretty sure no. we're gonna marry i'm gonna marry 
No, I'm waiting until marriage. Okay. Period. And you're going to be <laughs> steadfast in that? Uh, well, what do you mean? Like you're holding, you're holding to that for sure? No, definitely, definitely. But, um, yeah. Mistakes happen. <laughs> no, no. Mistakes do not happen. Well, can I ask you a question? So uh, you broke up with the three-year relationship a year ago, you said? Um, no, no. Um, I broke up You with said him. you were in a three-year relationship and you've been single for one year. Yeah, so I've had... Okay, that was a different relationship. That was then. a different, yeah. Okay. So wait, that was a different relationship? Yeah, so I had a three-year relationship that was like throughout high school, throughout college, and then we broke up, and then I had another relationship, and that's the one that ended a year ago. A year ago. ago. Okay. Did you have premarital sex with that guy? I did. Okay. So how long have you been celibate? Um, I would say about a couple months. What was the nature of the relationship with the guy you were with a couple months ago? Uh, we were, we were dating and, um, but it wasn't exclusive or no, it didn't get to that point. You were dating for a couple months, you said? Yes. How did you guys meet? How did we? I met him. Uh, where did I meet him? I met him, um, um, at a concert. Not a dating app? No, I okay. don't use dating apps. Okay. And so, like hold on, hold on. And so, uh, how soon after you had met him, did you guys hook up? Um, I would say it was maybe three months after we met. But you said you only dated him for a couple months. Yeah, well, it was long distance. It was, it, that one was confusing. <laughs> so you, were you, had you guys been like friends or acquaintances? Yeah, yeah, we definitely started off as friends. Well, hold on, you said you met him at a concert. I did. So you weren't friends when you met at the concert? No, I, I, I met him there and then we became friends. We exchanged information and... So he approached you or how did you guys... Uh, yeah, I guess so. And yeah. he said, hi, I'd like to be friends with you? No, well it was more... Um... It wasn't clear to you that he had a romantic or sexual interest? No, no, we just started off as friends. You think that was his intention, to be friends with you? I got yeah, I thought so. Okay. Um, so at what point did he make his romantic interest known? Um, I guess a while after texting, we just, um, I was like, oh, I like you, and he liked me, and so, um, yeah. When you, so you said you, after three months of knowing him, that's when you hooked up. How soon after there being a clear we like each other how soon after that did you guys hook up um like after we told each other we liked each other mm -hmm. uh well so we met and then we were texting for about like three months and then um when you say you were te okay so you met at the concert right you were texting for three months in that three-year period did you guys ever hang out in person no no, okay, so... It was long distance. You live in L.A., he lives where? Um, he lives in Arizona. Arizona, okay. I hope okay. he's not watching this right now. <laughs> okay, so you're texting him. You guys are texting back and forth. How often are you, are you guys calling, texting? Um, it, was, it was mainly text. Okay. You guys determine that you like each other, and then you meet up in person, correct? Right. Okay. Uh, how many times... Did you meet up in person, total? Um, we only hooked up once, and then after that, we just um, we just kind of just remained friends. You texted for three months, met in person, hooked up when you met in person, right. and then basically remained friends after that. Yeah, it just why? it didn't work out. <clears throat> why? Uh, why didn't it work out? I would say it was long distance and. Um, it just, I felt wrong about it. I felt like, um, like, oh, it's not, it's not a godly thing. I, I, we hooked up and it was just not the right thing to do. So. It just accidentally happened? Yeah, yeah. So. How do you accidentally oh. have sex? I mean, she acted on temptation. Yeah, yeah, it was very that, yeah. So um, okay. I was like, okay, this is not the, this is not the right one. Yeah. So... 
And this was a couple months ago? How recently was this? No, this was about maybe nine months, eight months, and two months ago. Okay. Um, and hold on, is there any degree of cope here? Like, did he, was it like a smash and dash? Or was it a mutual, like, I'm just trying to understand this a little better. No, it was mutual, <laughs> but... But um, it was you who said you felt uncomfortable with... Afterwards, I did. I did. I very much well, did. So he, he smashed didn't... and she dashed. <laughs> no, he no. Didn't, he didn't want to continue they seeing you? No, we, we've <laughs> seen each other recently, but just as friends. And I think we both agree that it wasn't the right thing to do. It, we very much were just acting on temptation. So it wasn't and... good. You didn't get satisfaction? <laughs> No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying that it wasn't the right way to go about it. And it was, yeah, exactly what she said. It was temptation. It was, we were drinking and Got it. and that was it. I, can was I it? ask a question? Go ahead. Um, from the time from the three-year relationship to the current situationship, friendship, whatever it was, when did you decide that like, oh no, I would rather wait till marriage? Because I mean... I, Everyone is human. We all make mistakes. We can have well, this my like, goal. My understanding here is you had the standard of you wanted to wait until marriage prior to meeting the concert Arizona guy. Mm -hmm. It was, Yeah, I definitely, um, I wanted well, to. Well, how did you falter? Everyone so has rather, mistakes. Okay, Everybody has those but, days. Alcohol and but, temptation. Okay, <laughs> look at it. it. Like, let's say she meets a, <laughs> hold on. Let's say she meets a Christian guy at her church. And she's like, I'm waiting till marriage. And then she tells him this story. You're going to be like, or really? No. <laughs> if they're a godly man, then they understand yes. that. They'll give a lot of mistakes. mistakes. We all make mistakes and the, you can backtrack and still so, God is going to forgive you. But what does it mean for... to like, okay. No, you might Chase believe, sit on this on. podcast and be a born again virgin. And now she made the decision. And Chase got pushback. But he you got didn't push back. He got absolute. Hold on. I, I told him I was disappointed in him. I literally said that. And he got tons of pushback online for it. Trust me. But who's to say she's seeking a super Christian man? It mm -hmm. could just be someone who's. And also, okay uh, that's with... not. It's not even my worldview. So for Chase to have slipped up, like <clears throat> to have premarital sex, that's not really my objection. I suppose the objection here is. You're stating X, but you're not actually right. I, I, right. Also, in any case, uh, Chase let, isn't let here. Let us point out a, a quick distinction here, which is that Chase felt bad. And I think that most of these women who are like, oh, well, gee, uh, you know, this happened and now I'm a born again. They don't seem like they feel bad about it. They don't seem like they give a shit. I mean, she also to never said born again virgin. But no, definitely. Yeah, I think that's. Know. No, she didn't. And <laughs> I'm also not going to lie and be like, oh, yeah, I'm Christian and I'm a virgin. No, I think that's a very terrible thing to do. I'm completely honest about all of that because, and I think like how she stated, I think a godly man would understand and if and vice versa, if he also had past relations, then I would understand as well because nobody's perfect. But what, then what People does it fall mean? For temptation. Then, okay, but then what does it actually mean to believe in waiting until marriage if every couple months you have a slip up? What does it mean? Well, who's to what say I'm going to have another mean? slip up? I think the biggest thing is like, you know, uh, women want. I don't mean to speak for all, but like we want relationships to work and it's so many like I think it's kind of been ingrained is anytime you involve sex, it complic it complicates it or it, you You're know, just me it, it messes things up a little bit. And so us as women, we're always told to preserve ourselves. We're always told to wait. We're this and that. So we're like, OK, if we want a relationship to work, we need to preserve ourselves and make sure that we like whoever it is that we're dating for who they are and not involve the sex until after everything. After that, then What's everything that matches true? up. Was true because once I got I got picked up and I was like, just so you know, I'm not going to fuck. And he said, all right, well, you can go home then. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. Hold on. Awesome. Hold on. No, I mean, uh, that's okay, terrible. Sorry. You're right. <laughs> Wait. I respect that. <laughs> I was like, Nick, could you close the door? Um, but but her as a relig like bringing a religion, like okay, if she like makes a mistake, do you want her to walk around town with the girl with the bell calling shame, shame for making no, a mistake? No, no, nobody's asking, nobody's like, asking for the scarlet. <laughs> no, nobody's asking for the scarlet letter, but. 
it has become pretty apparent to me that often what happens is women will seek uh, Christianity and the idea of being reborn into Christianity in order to mask their promiscuous past uh, rather than as a form of repenting from it. And this is why I think there's a delineation point and why this is being brought up by Brian. And it's a very good point. Many times women will use that as a mask and say, now I'm above criticism uh, for you know my overly promiscuous past. Uh, that's what I think they're moving towards that for, rather than, okay, I'm in a state of deep repentance because I actually feel miserable about the things that I've done. By the way, Andrew, I sent you a text message. Um, I guess it's just, okay, this whole like, waiting till marriage, Christian waiting till marriage, but has mistakes and slip ups. Having sex is a conscious choice. So it's like a vegan who eats meat once a week. Are you still a vegan? No. no. You know what I mean? I don't know, look, I don't know. I'm not against premarital sex, I guess I'm just confused. My, my bigger thing is like more so from like a secular point of view, these girls who will have had one night stands or hooked up relatively quickly, say the last three boyfriends they had, they slept with them on the first, second, third date, then they're like, look, you can change up at any time, however you wanna move, that's your call. But I think you're allowed to feel like you're getting a raw deal as a guy if like the girl, you hooked up relatively quickly without anything and now you're a week ago and then now you meet me and now you want to make me wait three months that's your call but i'm gonna feel raw about it. i'm like hold on this isn't your actual that like this isn't your values yeah. it's not your values it's just some like arbitrary thing that you, you're like um playing a game essentially you're playing a game like you're trying to leverage sex to get something out of me whether that's commitment or whatever and so, uh, I don't know, it feels like a raw deal. It's like, how much did your mindset change in seven days to yeah. now that, that you're now so passionate about this? Yeah, I mean, some girls, I mean, you'll hear stories of a girl who's currently sleeping with a dude who has a friends with benefits, and then, but she's like dating a guy who she's potentially eyeing as a boyfriend long term, and she's making <coughs> him wait while <coughs> fucking another dude. That's crazy to me. I mean, you can do it. You can do it. It feels like a raw deal. It's kind of like, hey, uh, I'm trying to think of a perfect example uh, here. It's like uh, you go to a car dealership and uh, uh, you, you, you buy a car for, for $20,000. You as the woman, you buy a car for $20,000 and then you find out your girlfriend got the same car, brand new car for $10,000. You're like, that's not, hold on, that's not fair. Why'd they get a better deal than me? You know? Dealership says, oh, I just felt like it. <laughs> no reason. You know? So, I don't know. I think there should be a waiting period between that. And so there shouldn't be like, oh, okay, I'm, I'm, I had sex seven days ago and now I'm going to wait till marriage, but I'm going to go on a date on Friday. You shouldn't do that. You should wait. There should be a waiting period before you start to date again. Would that make you feel better? Or would you still be mad if it's been six months to a year? I mean, well, I mean usually that's part of repentance. Eula sees the pagan donated $200. Thank Girl you, in the you. yellow, trust me, this guy, in my opinion, was playing up that he agrees that it shouldn't have happened. The intention all along was to smash. Eventually, he'll stop being your friend and ghost. But I, I'm just confused. Like, so you guys <laughs> said you liked each other. Yeah. I feel like we're not. I, I do actually want to dig in a little bit more on this. You said you liked each other. You guys had sex. <laughs> Why not continue to date? Like, well, just because you had sex doesn't mean you have to no longer... I, that's where I'm confused. It, yeah, that was the biggest point for me. It was long distance and... But then why'd y'all smash? Why does it matter if it's long distance if you guys aren't doing that? Because that's, that's just a good my point, preference. Actually. I wasn't comfortable with long distance. Me either. I was just asking. Yeah, and um, and then again, I, I saw it through after a while, and I was like, wow, that's not what I want for the relationship. That's not what I want for my marriage to be. And um, You don't want your marriage to be what? 
I wouldn't want to have premarital. Wait, so? So we already had, um, you know, sex before before marriage. So, um, and it was mutual. I'm not like, but um, but that's just not how I would want my marriage to be. So, it, like, I kind of counted that out. What Wait. if he What if he asked you to marry him afterwards? Um, like after like after what was what happened if he were like actually I I consider yeah. it he's a great guy it's just that it was long distance and you know it, we fell into temptation but um but I don't know it just wouldn't that be more m- motivation to stay together though now that you because you're you, it seems like you're justifying <laughs> part of the reason of not wanting to continue seeing him aside from the long distance thing some of the pretext there is you did have premarital sex. Mm-hmm. So now he's ruled so that's out like as a, a candidate that's of like marriage. So that's like a negative, a negative mark against him. No, it's not negative. Um, not negative in any way. Like I, I see him as a great person, and we still get along. But it's just the fact that it's premarital that I, I feel bad about it, and that's just not the way I would want my marriage to go. But you already wait. But what if he asked you to marry him afterwards? Would you be opposed to that since y'all already had been slept together? Um, I, I'm not sure. I'd really have to think about it. Like, say, like, a guy did come to you and you really thought he was husband material, you really wanted to marry him, but you, like, accidentally had premarital Pre- sex with him. Like, would you just automatically be like, oh, I can't because I don't want to do that. But what if you did want to marry him? Like, would you automatically disqualify him because you had that premarital sex with him? Even though it was a mutual agreement. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'd still think it's wrong. It's still, mm, yeah. Hmm. I guess it's like, I just like question like how committed to you are this? Like, would it be better for you to say you're w- just waiting for the right person or are you actually waiting for marriage? No, definitely waiting till marriage because I think the right person will wait for marriage. But, 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 go ahead, inter- go ahead, intercourse is two people. So if wait. you're also agreeing uh-huh. to premarital sex, it's because you also said yes. So if you meet Joe mm-hmm. and you and Joe fall into temptation, uh-huh. even if you fell into it, right? right? You fell into temptation and you fell into each other, right? And you had premarital sex. Now he's not a candidate for marriage anymore. Yeah. Even though you also agreed to it. And you thought Joe was the one. He was going to be your husband. You thought he was going to propose in two months. And you were like, you know what? He's the right one. This feels right. Let's do it. Now that you guys have done it, you were so passionate about marrying him. But because you had premarital sex, now he's off the table and not a candidate for marriage anymore. How fair is that to him when it was a mutual decision for you guys to have premarital sex that now he's not a candidate anymore because you two mutually agreed on something no we definitely yeah no I see that um I don't think I mean I guess it isn't fair to him but that's just me and my choice and I just I wouldn't be okay with that I'd feel feel like it's not the right thing to do so he bought the ring in march you guys had premarital sex in april oh that's different that's but how do you know he bought the ring you've already told but you do you get what i'm saying you don't know when your significant other buys you the ring to get ready to propose to you so he buys you the ring in march you two mutually decide to have premarital sex in april and then at the end of april you're like you know what i can't i'm not i'm not capable of marrying you anymore and he's like well i already bought the ring i was going to propose to you next week but now you're like oh well i'm sorry we had we both decided to have premarital sex and now you're not a candidate anymore. oh then that's different if he already had the ring and we had that discussion then that's different what if oh. you didn't know but you didn't he know he bought the, the ring. ring you guys that's what we're saying so it's like so he bought the ring we had the premarital the premarital marital sorry the premarital sex and then i after was like nope he's not a candidate for me anymore and then after we have the discussion of like well i bought the ring and but, but you've already broken his heart because you told him you don't want to marry him do you get what I'm saying? Like, he's not going to be like, oh, well, I already bought you a ring, and now you're like, oh, okay, well, never mind then. Let's get married. 
you're like, oh, you bought the ring already? That's okay. Now now it's okay that we had premarital sex because now I know you had the intention to marry me. Also, good question. You say you want to wait for marriage. Mm-hmm. What makes you be like, oh, let's just have sex with this person even though I don't want to marry him, but yet you're waiting for marriage? Where does that like line fall in between where like, I'll give this guy a pass? Like him specifically? No, just in general. So you're saying, like, I gave this guy a pass, but after that I'm like, okay, now I'm waiting till marriage. Yeah. She's, like, if you already trying, knew tra- you were oh. going to... Sorry, if you, already, if you already knew you were going to wait till marriage, like, why even try to pursue him? Uh-huh. Right, didn't you say the, the reason you didn't want to continue seeing him was because of, because of long distance? Mm-hmm. Yes. So why did you even bother carrying on this friendship and then allowing it to proceed into a romantic relationship and then allowing sex to occur if you already had the predetermination that long distance is a deal breaker like not to be rude it wasn't a deal breaker can i sum something up yeah so i think that whenever you guys met there was the interest there you both knew underlyingly that you were interested that's why you continue to talk all those months you finally met up you acted on the temptation Mm -hmm. you're like hey this isn't really in alignment with my beliefs i feel shame surrounding what happened Mm -hmm. and he's like oh yeah okay whatever he he, men don't care like that that you're religious they don't care Mm -hmm. and so he essentially are you associating shame with him and that's why you no longer want to pursue him no shame is no i would or not necessarily shame is a strong word but it's just you acted and that was not in alignment with your beliefs so you do not want to continue going down that road with him because he also partook in something that was not in alignment with your beliefs exactly but like okay wait hold on but i think hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on i didn't even get an answer to my question so my question is why knowing like the justification you provided for why you didn't actually after having had sex you didn't want to pursue it is because it was long distance you knew prior to this rendezvous that it was long distance he lived in arizona you live in los angeles so one why did you even pursue it and then two why did you have sex with him knowing it's long distance if you're i mean perhaps it's um it's post hoc justification but she you knew am- he was in Arizona. She admitted that she knew what she was doing. Did you Hold know? on. Why don't we let her explain it? Go ahead. Well, the reason why I kept pursuing it and kept talking to him was because I really liked him. He was funny, just a great person. But um, he's, still, he's still funny, right? Yeah, of still course. Still a great person. Of course. Okay. So then it's not because he lives in Arizona then. I, that is a factor. I mean. But then why... Okay, but hold on. What changed? Because he was always in Arizona. Right. You guys met up and you had sex. What are the variables? What are the factors here that led to you now being your friends? Then it was elevated to romantic prospect. You had sex. Now it's back to friends. We're not dating? We are not dating. No, but we, we are good friends. Not like we're best friends and we talk every day, but we still, we can get along and we- Hold on, hold on, wait, wait, you're single? I am. And are you, are you, you talking to any guys right now? No. I'm a Christian man. I come into the picture, I find out you're good friends and talking to a guy who you fucked? That's crazy. Well, we're not talking, That's another talking, topic, though. But... That's another topic, though. Okay. You said you talk all the time and you're friends. I didn't say we talk all the time. Okay, what I did you say? I we get along, like we are, you know, we're- we're human. We're still, we're fine. We don't have any bad terms or anything, regardless of what happened Okay, in the so past. you're not talking to him then. It's just amicable. No. Maybe I misunderstood. No, How like I know his family, so we How often did you talk to him? The last time I talked to him was probably, I would say a month or two. No, like okay. about a month. Okay, all right. I okay, perhaps month. misunderstood. But. In any case, I'm still confused. I haven't really gotten an answer. You knew he lived in Arizona. Yes. Okay. Why did you pursue him if long distance was an issue? Well... It wasn't like a great issue or anything, but go ahead. <laughs> Do you think it was an actual like fall into temptation or a lack of discipline of mm. your decision and faith? I would say both. <laughs> hold on. I got, qu- both. Hold, 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 hold. I got a question for the ladies. If you're, you meet a guy, you've been talking to him for months, you both have told each other you like each other, like, don't, like, 
y'all know kind of if you're like, I'm ready to fuck this guy, right? Well, and if you right? can and I if just, you add alcohol you know what to the I mean? mix, yes. yeah. if you add alcohol no, to the mix, then, then you're setting yourself up oh, to fall into temptation. Blame it on the alcohol. I'm not. Wait, wait, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not. I'm not disagreeing with you. I'm not disagreeing with you. I actually, I actually think that if you're going to say that this is my belief then you have to set yourself up for success to honor that belief. Well, that and I'm not saying that to, sh to shame you, by the way. No. It's just like if, if like you're, she's training for a fitness competition, right? So she's dedicated, she's committed. She's setting herself up for success by packing protein snacks, by mm -hmm. hydrating, by training. So right. if, if you are gonna have the belief and share that belief of I'm a Christian and I'm waiting until marriage, then you have to set yourself up for success by not drinking with someone that you're attracted to right. that you don't want to, does that make sense? No, it's true. But that belief became stronger after him. So I didn't express I those things with mm -hmm. him. I wasn't already like, well, I'm Christian, I'm waiting till marriage. And I think that's why I was so easily to fall into temptation because I didn't have those strong values as I do. Okay, after. that's where we have. So, so, so after it that situation. Like, it made yeah. it sound like after past long relationships, you made that decision. Before you didn't you make that Arizona. decision no. until two months ago. No, it after was definitely you after Arizona. The, <laughs> we're going to call him Arizona. There it is. Um, um, that I was like, okay, I definitely need to be stronger in my discipline, my beliefs, and uh, because I just don't want to do that anymore. Uh, yeah. Okay. okay, I'm sorry. No, you're fine. But we, Bruh, this sounds me, like okay, coke. When, this sounds like to coke. me, it seems like like yeah, you uh. made a mistake. But it might mm -hmm. almost be better to pursue a man and to be your husband After if you, you made it. the mistake with him. Like, yeah. I don't know if that makes sense. Instead like, of push it away, so now you just added a body and you also don't yeah. want to marry this person. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know if we're getting the whole story here. <laughs> What's missing? Okay, so you guys, ha you, went, you went to Arizona or he came here? No, he came to LA. <laughs> he came to LA. How long <laughs> was he in LA for? Um, he was only here for a couple of days. He was like on some break from school. Okay, so you guys hook up. Yeah. And then... It was like about three days. Do you guys hang out after you hook up? Or yeah. Okay, and everything's good, or yeah, you only hook up once or a couple times. It was only once. On One the first time. day or on the last? Yeah. No, in between. It... In the yeah. only second. <laughs> Very detailed. <laughs> wait, you only hooked. Wait, so you hooked up once or multiple times? No, it was only once. One time. Okay, and so how did I mean? You guys both told each other you liked each other, right? Right. What did he tell you in terms of what he was looking for? He wanted to keep seeing you. Um, well, no, like we definitely did keep talking, but it was, I think we were both mutually like, oh, it, it felt kind of uncomfortable. I don't know, like. Wait, it felt uncomfortable, mutually uncomfortable. But didn't you say that you didn't express this whole waiting until marriage thing and that you're a Christian? Right. Is he a Christian? Um, well, his family is. I'm not sure if he is specifically. So how, I mean, I assume like. He, you guys had sex. Why would he also be uncomfortable that you guys had sex? This seems to be. He was uncomfortable because she was uncomfortable. Well, sure, that's fair. Mm -hmm. But I don't think. Because I, we, we had like a discussion about it, and I told him like, you know what, I, I feel wrong about this. I do feel yeah uncomfortable about it, and I just we kind of agreed to stop talking after that, and. Um, and so you he... stopped talking because you had the sex. Yeah. Then why did? Because but then we all. Control. But then after some time, we did talk about it again, and we, you know, we were on good terms. Well, were you ever on bad terms? I guess in that period where I told him like I I don't want to talk anymore, and and we stopped talking. Was that before he left back to Arizona or after? No, that was after. Mm. So that brings me back. Was it in the beginning or was it in the end? How was your interaction after you did it while you were uh, still together? So the interaction after we had sex? Yes. It were was, you still together for like two days in person? Yeah, yeah. Like we, so it was we in were, the beginning. Okay. <laughs> and uh, then how did you interact? You didn't tell him about that. Then after you guys did it, you waited until he got home to tell him that he was uncomfortable. How did you guys interact in person? Was it something else? Was his personality and being together what made you also uncomfortable? Like, wow, I shouldn't no. have done that because this guy doesn't do the same things that I feel for him over the phone as in comparison to in person or like, can we go deeper? Mm -hmm. 
The epiphany was definitely like after, um, no, he flew back home and we would still talk. But then after, after like a while, I was like, okay, this, it wasn't the right thing to do. It sunk in. And I was like, I, 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 it's not that I regret it. He's a great person, right? But um, it just, it wasn't the right thing to do because I, I truly want to get married and have kids someday. And I just don't want, I don't want that. You don't want so when marriage. you woke up that morning, you were like, oh, why did I do that? No, it wasn't like I woke up that morning, like the following day. It wasn't like, um, I don't know what they call it. Like epiphany. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, that, that. It definitely wasn't that. Like we still got along. We we still went out the following day, and and we st- yeah. But um, but somewhere along, like after like a month, I was like, okay, um, I do have, I do want to get married someday. I do want to have kids, and I just don't want it to be With that. Him. Yeah, essentially, yeah. It's okay. You know, we all make mistakes. That's why God gave you free will. Is and then sometimes maybe that's the reason why, so you can learn from those mistakes, and realize what you do and what you don't want. It's but it seems like what the girls on this side are trying to clarify mm-hmm. is: was the deal breaker that you guys hooked up? Like, is it was a deal breaker that he agreed to partake in premarital sex, or was it something else? I guess there were a lot of deal breakers. It was the premarital sex. It was long distance is difficult. Um, and then also around that time, that was like, um, yeah, that was like a year ago. And I was still, you know, we were both, he's still in school and I'm still, you know, working and stuff. So it was just, it just didn't feel right to me. And it sounded like what Brian was asking was you knew all those things beforehand because nothing actually changed about those variables of him, of him being far away or whatever, like whatever the variables are that you just listed. So it sounded like what he was asking is, if you knew all that going in, why did you still like show up and hang out? Well, I just- And put I, yourself, and it, put it, yourself and it, in the position to have premarital sex. Right, no, I just, I just really like the guy. And sometimes when you have feelings, it just kind of stirs. It just kind of goes about a way. And again, that was before my Right, before you made beliefs. the decision. Yeah. But it sounds like now uh-huh. you would not follow how you feel because yeah. you're determined to right. follow your beliefs. Right. right. And to, to exercise discipline, right. to, what? What? This is a long conversation about the same thing. <laughs> what the fuck? Wait, is it Andrew eating shit? Oh my god. We're not getting, You're any- bored? We're not You're getting bored? anywhere but to the same point You're over bored? and over. I think we all understand. Now. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Next. Sorry. Agreed. There's so many questions to ask. No more premarital Damn, she's sex. Bored. She's not getting enough attention. It's You're not, not about my attention. attention. We could talk she about needs, anything. You need to be pampered. I will you need say a little pampering. I did put that in my bio. Is that we. A lot of the times, one topic is like, we just asked her the same you. question. All of about us, ten <laughs> times. every single yeah, one of us asked like her the same round question, and round and with the same answer. And then we're like, mm, maybe but we can bro, simplify it, it a little bit. More. I don't get it. That's the, it. That's I, why I, I you don't have to get it. She's not asking you to not have premarital <laughs> sex with her. She's not asking you to wait until marriage to have sex with her so it doesn't, it's it doesn't just, matter whether you get uh, it or not like there's a lot of beating cope. my face there's a lot of there's a lot of cope. <laughs> there's a lot of cope going on there's a lot of i don't believe this going on in my brain right now what it's part just, don't you believe makes it's just you just said i really really liked the guy and then we fucked and now I don't really, he really like the guy. I don't really like him. He's an amazing face. person. I think <laughs> he didn't put it down. He's, amazing, <laughs> he's an amazing person, just, but I don't want to date him. Just but because I somebody's him. amazing I doesn't him mean I'm going to marry values. them. Like, <laughs> just like, I think everybody he's here so is amazing. amazing. I don't want to marry that everybody. not the one I want to marry. He's so, I, he's such a great guy. He's so amazing. But I wouldn't do it again. We fucked, even though it's against my values. So you're telling me you've never been with somebody. You felt like, oh, I really want to be with this person, then you did it, and then it, you didn't want to do it no more. Something magically Wait, changed. No, it just wasn't it. Now let's move on. The, are you talking about the sex? Yes, You're I'm talking, talking about the sex. If you on. see an itty bitty piggy in the market, are, are you give saying that bitch a quarter in the car and tell her to park it. With her? I'm out of are here. Are you saying that's what the case is with her? I'm not saying that because that's not what she said. She didn't say that. But in my opinion, what I got from all these questions is that's what my opinion is is something about that felt off because if, if if it doesn't feel good if it doesn't feel good in your soul to have sex with somebody and you want to move on then something about that is what's wrong because you liked him before and you don't like him after so you're you're saying for her it was because the sex was a bit trash i can't speak for her but in my no, experience if that's how i felt that. then that's what it, it was, was. I, don't th- I don't think it was that i don't think it was so that. what do you think it was <sighs> 
You don't understand what it was, but know, as a bro. woman, that's what I, I understood. Know. I wait, wait. I was under the assumption that you had this strong, strong of faith prior to him. Now, yeah. mm. to clear it up, you had this this a uh, strong faith after yes, him. Exactly. And no, but that's not. My but own. she's saying no that's what happened, she and so we were all under the presumption. So she, she had can, it before. She can have her faith, no. and then she can have. It You're can saying grow as he strength. was fucking her. She no. grew as more he faith. Was that's her. Her. I don't want to do it. I don't she like was like, it. "Is that how you do it, Brian?" She's like, "Oh, I need to really focus on God right now. No this is not it for me." Do it like this. Yeah. See. I don't know, bro. At, like she, she didn't. It. She didn't want to wait till marriage, and literally, as he's inside of her, that's she when was like, no. "Oh wait, marriage no, is what'll make this better." That it was after a couple months, after the the sex, if that's what we're calling <laughs> no, no, it. No, no, no. But you stopped dating him immediately. No, I didn't. She said a month after. She said, "Yeah, we." Okay, so I tried. He flew her. in. We hung up the first day. No, but you said we, you felt bad it, about having the sex, like, n- I didn't say immediately. She I, said not, she did, she literally answered my question when I asked her, was it the next day? You're just not listening. You're not paying attention. Was it the attention. next day? She said you're no, the next day was after you left. just thought you had this standard, like, after yeah. your first relationship, and yeah. we were just Ooh, saying, we practice saying. what you preach. Mm-hmm. I have a question, I have a question. Right, yeah. So back. if let's he go. would have stayed there in town after y'all would have done it, would you still have felt shame about it? If, if he was, was still around you? And then she's like, I was more right. Right. I mean, we're still continuing it. What can I do? Bro. Okay, we, let's that was a valid let's question. I do actually hear sort of shifting gears a little bit, but it's related to this. So you were like, well, oh, what if you're as a guy, you hit and the pussy's not good? Is that what you're saying? Um, Bro, hold on. First off, pussy is like pizza. It, it's hard to mess up pizza, right? <laughs> No, because when what? you put too much <laughs> tomato sauce, <laughs> there's a different. I don't know what kind of pussy you had, Desmond. What the fuck? <laughs> Look, I'm just saying, most pussy's good pussy, right? It's but hard most to dicks mess aren't. up, huh? Jesus. Nearly all pussy is good pussy. I'm just Look saying. Look at Andrew's face. <laughs> yeah, earmuffs, Andrew. Earmuffs. But it, you disagree? Yes. yes. There's so many the pussies that are not. Nice. I'm bisexual. Oh yeah. yeah a good, so couple. what kind of pussy are you talking about? <laughs> But like it's, it's also what's attached to it, <laughs> so it's like the she, oh no like, yeah 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 of course you know yeah. like she could be a dead fish mm. she could be not you know like bro, th- you that's can, okay you for you she could be a screecher like she no. could just like <laughs> bro, she, <laughs> know, like, she yo, just it, lays there like that and you enjoy it even if first it's, off that's so rare no. wait, there's other ways you can, that's wait, so rare wait, first wait, off. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. I think there's three bisexual women in a row right now. Yeah, we are telling you that all... Do you have a penis? Do you have a penis? you have a penis? you got a penis? It's different. I mean, I could put one on. I'm just saying it's different. The guy I have one, I can strap on me. No, but... You don't feel it on your on your fake penis is what he's trying to say. Wait, so what's your point? That not all Fat labias matter. Hold on. Okay, first off, if you know what you're doing in bed and you know how to lead in the bedroom... You can take a girl who's a virgin and have great sex with her. So this idea that, no, not all pussy. Like, like, come on, bruv. If you know what you're doing as a guy, most women want the guy to take the lead anyways. So if you know what you're doing. But that doesn't mean she's always going to be receptive. All it takes, okay, all it takes for a girl to be good in bed, really, so long as the guy is capable and knows what he's doing as ha- and has some degree of experience, mm-hmm. is open-mindedness and enthusiasm that's it of course if she's like fucking unenthusiastic who, that's bad in general right so so like, it doesn't necessarily about have to be about yeah. good pussy yeah, are you talking like, about the bro. feeling are you talking about the feeling well, there's, there's, about the there's, there's different <laughs> levels right there's different levels so i mean i guess there's the are you talking that's about the like dead skill? fish is what that's he was talking about. Like, like the actual skill, the physical vibe, pussy the energy. no like, that's what we weren't talking about look there is different there is different kinds of pussy too. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Why that. are you blushing? Chill out. She's all flustered. <laughs> Shut up. But that's what I'm saying. Like it's not Listen. all good. Like it's the. Hey, ex- don't throw. I know you have a thing against big labias. Okay. No, I'm not. Don't saying you I have dare it. in hey, my presence. Doesn't don't, that mean don't there's more dare. grippage for you? Honestly. Lips that grip. Yeah. yeah. So there's nothing wrong with Hashtag BLM. Big labia right. Okay. Matter. So that's not what I'm saying. Boom. I'm saying Hashtag that BLM. you sound like a big labia hater, honestly. Yeah, stop hating. I literally like, just said I, stop I don't mind it. The, yeah. Okay. Especially I, as a bisexual I literally said, woman. Did, doesn't it give you more grip? 
That's what I said. And but what I'm saying is, is that it's the vibe, the vibe that the person's giving off too. Like <laughs> if you're there and you're it's penetrating, the right? And she's just laying there like this. <laughs> like a pillow. Are you into time. that? How, like how many times? How, how many girls have you been with? Like probably five or six. How many have have the girls done that ever? Like two. And really, it was two of the horrible. chicks. Yeah. Were were they like on the fence bisexual? No. They're full blown like lesbians. They're but yeah. Oh, they were bisexual. Yeah, but they were. Like, Damn, you be, you must have been fucking up in some way. No offense. They're just they were just laying there like. Well, no, because then I I also watched them with a man and they did the same thing. So. Damn, what kind of girls are, were they? I don't know. Were they had a little screw loose or what? There, you've never slept with a like a someone who wasn't enthusiastic in the bedroom. You're that lucky. <sighs> Let me think about this. It doesn't have very Let me many. Think about this. Uh, that's not saying, like <laughs> a woman who acted like she was doing you a favor mm. Ooh. instead of like oh. wanting to be that you, you which know? is there, I've ha I've been with women who have been more enthusiastic than others but mm. overwhelmingly I don't think I've had a girl who's just like mm. 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 <laughs> I can <laughs> I've never had that shit <laughs> They never said I came. What's your longest? <laughs> yeah, you probably never heard. No, hold up. That's not, hold up, hold up, no. I've never had that like. Encounter where you were like, wow, that wasn't like the best sex I've had. Like that was like pretty boring. Well, oh, like she didn't do any work. Like she didn't. I like it. Well, hold on. Do I like it if they don't do it? I don't need a girl to do work. So you just want her to lay there? No, that's not what I'm saying. You're the boring I'm one. saying. No, You're no, the no. problem. I'm not the problem. I'm saying like if. If you know how to take the lead in the bedroom, then it's like, for example, even if a girl's on top, I want to do the work. See, but there's a difference between you taking the lead. There's a difference between you taking the lead yeah. and telling her what to do and yeah. her being receptive yeah, to that. I'll boss her around. I'll boss yeah. her around. And she's going to listen to you. And then there's a difference between like just being there and she's just like doing it to do it because she's doing it. Who are you fucking? What the mm -hmm. fuck? Yeah, because it's like, well, why are you having sex then? But the, like, you don't know that until you're in the situation, though. You know oh, what I've I mean? Had, like, I've had, like, got tired sex. I've had out tired yet. sex. Yeah, but yeah. Like, it's different. 6 a.m. Oh, my God. So but you can just, like, okay, I mean, I guess. Uh, I just took some I'm melatonin. I'm not saying this happens to me all the time. I took time. some melatonin, and she's like, babe, I want to fuck. I'm like, damn, I just took some fucking melatonin. and Chill out. She's like, let's. I'm like, okay, let's go. Are, are I you? literally want to see. I want to see chat right now because I want to know how many men have had sex with That's, women who are like yeah, dead fish in the bedroom. Th there is a name for it in Japanese, actually, maguro. Like it's a, it, there's a whole. It's you a, have it means to be like now, so deep into a relationship for that to happen, though. I, I feel I don't That's feel why. like you no. Do. You can like you <laughs> can essentially like uh, say say I'm pursuing her. It's really hot and it's great. And then once we go and we close the doors, she just lays there, and I'm just like, whoa, it's a, where like was... a pillow princess. Like she just she just, just wants to receive, lays there but doesn't want to do just anything. wants to receive. Oh no, I, you know I've what I think it before. is. You know what I think it is. I think it's the extroverted. Beezies that be fucking pillow princess, pillow princesses, and like, what, what's it called? Dead fish? What was Maguro. It? Yeah, I Maguro. Or, de or See, dead fish. I, I date introverted chicks and like shy, quiet uh, chicks. Oh, they're come freaks. Out, they're yeah. fucking, they're crazy, fucking freaks. freaks. I'm just saying. It's the introverted chicks. It's not these loud, fucking boisterous, extroverted chicks that are freaky. It's the quiet girls. Yeah. That library With chick. With the glasses and the. That yeah. the library chick's gonna rock your world. Yeah. I mean, and, but again, it's just one of those things like you don't know until you, <laughs> and I'm not saying like every, I've had a lot of great experiences with women, so I'm not saying that I find it often, but I have heard of scenarios where. What about like hygiene? Oh, I mean, yeah. That's you know, everyone should have good hygiene. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean? That's like another, she, that's she, another shameful, she, like not shameful, but like down it's there? a shame mm -hmm. because you don't know until you're there. Yeah. And then you're like, uh, <laughs> that oh, no, it's here, it's here. <laughs> if it smells like dead fish. <laughs> I don't know how we got. I think I was just talking about pizza or something. I don't know. You said it. all. Yeah. You said you, you, said it's like, you like, can't fuck up a pizza. 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 <laughs> you well, definitely can. Okay. So you're saying, here, like, okay. Maybe okay. It was, like maybe even it okay. here's the thing, right? Even bad pizza. It's still good pizza. Like, right. well, yeah. It's still good. I mean, you're still gonna, you know. Unless there be pineapple disagrees. on it. <laughs> I knew you were gonna say that. Someone was gonna say. I was gonna ask. Pineapple Who likes pineapple on their pizza? pizza? 
<laughs> there's look, there's different look, but here's the thing though, there's also like some some super like next level transcendent super saiyan level five pussy too mm -hmm. that that's where you get a comparison that can get you into trouble as a guy that's why i actually think that so there's a this concept called alpha widow where like once a once a girl gets with a certain it could it could be personality it could be the the d game could be status could be money once you get with a certain tier of dude it's going to be hard to date like normal guys mm -hmm. or once a guy knows how to hit it like just right then you're like F you're gonna no i'm sad forever you're, you're <laughs> just sad forever <laughs> once you get with a chick who can't who like comes instantly you're it's over i can't satisfy like, hey, any woman ah. it's just it's <laughs> done you're done once you get with a girl who comes like has she was lying what she was probably lying nah bro it, once you get with a girl who comes instantly and can come like 50 times it's you're it's over right you How know what i'm talking about boosting like your head yeah <laughs> have you encountered a girl like that that can come multiple times yeah mm. yeah it's just it's over sorry andrew earmuffs <laughs> Poor. Like sorry. i don't know they got the super saiyan pussy you know what i mean they got that gorilla grip mm -hmm. well no it's not what? not oh, about that it's a, well, like got that. <laughs> they're just like overly sensitive and it just like because typically what happens when you're stimulated once initially and you orgasm, you're so sensitive and stimulated that it, it just continues to happen time. over and over and over again. Yeah. So then you compare every other girl to her? What do you mean? Are you alpha widow now, Brian? A little bit. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, you... I've... Like, you're saying it's so good, so, like, do you compare every other girl to her? Because you're saying, like, after, after that, it, like, it's done it's for everyone else. Exactly. It's different, you know what I mean? It's a little different. So you're saying it could be different, just it can't be bad. That's why both men and women should not be promiscuous, because every time you're rolling the dice, you're playing Russian roulette, and once you land on the, the Super Saiyan pussy, <laughs> <laughs> you're just, it's, it's like you're going to compare. Oh, it's, you're, you're just going to make these comparisons, and yeah. People do that about personality as well. Yeah, that's what yeah. I'm saying. Like, once you, the person that you just vibed with the best, your first love, too, you know, a lot of people. Mm. I just think there's also room for evolution, too. You cannot have transcendent sex with someone and then have transcendent sex with them later on down the road. Why, what in the world evolution. is transcendent sex? <laughs> oh, I'm. What? What kind of maybe one day you will join the club? <laughs> maybe one day you will join the club. He's married. With my I eyes know. closed. Maybe, maybe what does me being married have to do with not understanding transcendent sex? What kind Wait, of absurd nonsense? No, that's nonsense. what we're saying. You probably do understand it because you're married. Aww. Yeah, what is, tra what is transcendent it. sex? Like, it just gets better, right? It gets better the Devon more you do Devon Jackson it. donated $200. <laughs> Interesting how the energy from these strumpets increases when it becomes a degenerate conversation. Hey, I feel like wow. it was more Yo, like Devon. your energy. It's, hold on. <laughs> He's a brave, energy, decent man. It. He's a pioneer. My energy? Mm -hmm. You went from being distraught to very passionate <laughs> real quick. I don't know. She brought it up. You brought it up. A what I bit. bring up? I don't know. You're, we're talking about I just said, thing. can we move forward? We're talking, <laughs> yeah. But then you talked about, well, maybe the sex wasn't good. I, I mean, uh, yeah. I mean. Oh, here's the, the, here's the actual quote. It, so it goes, <laughs> sex is a lot like pizza. When it's good, it's great. When it's bad, it's, it's okay. still pretty good. I think that's the quote. Oh, no, I must have got mi mixed up a little bit. Makes know? sense. But and I think I've that applies more to men than women. Yeah. Definitely, because like, I've had bad pizza. Because here's the difference, right? <laughs> what, what, what pizza is bad pizza? And, and no, chunky, too Tostitos, much sauce pizza. Gross. Why is there and more Tostitos, sauce than cheese? Even those are okay. Mm -mm. Yeah. And hunger levels, because if you were satiated from some really good pizza, would you still go for the... Decent pizza, pizza, a hundred percent. Well, I think pizza. Mm. He, I, I do think here's the difference though, because I think, and this kind of relates to the the differential in terms of like a girl could just lay there, and like we could through our own effort still re mo like ninety nine percent of men could reach climax. Oh, for sure. Mm -hmm. But I would argue if a guy just laid there, could ninety nine percent of women just reach climax just well, through sexual no. intercourse alone i mean if you maintain that boner and you let me just use well, you sure, then some, yeah 
some, yeah, some women, yeah. but I don't know. But also, uh, mm-hmm. there's a higher percentage of women <sighs> that <laughs> can't orgasm from, from penetration yeah, than, that's true. you know. That is true. Well put. Anyways, let's move it on from, from this. From Sounds this. like a good idea. Um, good times. Good times. Uh, where were we? Oh, Davon Jackson. We, do we have any super chats? What, what, what was the thing we had to pull up, Nick? We talked about the bow, right? Nobody mm-hmm. liked the bow. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Uh, oh, <laughs> oh, math. We did. We already we did, did that. that. We did that. Uh, we did. We could go back to age gap stuff, that. or we could do. Wasn't there another um, thing that came up? What's that? I thought there was another one that came up. That just didn't ding. I just didn't hear it. Mm, not sure. <laughs> Let's react to the uh, desirable truth clip. I saw this. This was an interesting one. Before that, though, go to twitch.tv slash whatever. Drops a follow. Drops a prime sub, boys. Twitch.tv slash whatever. Guys, it's been, holy frick, boys. Two hours since we last had a prime. I think it's bugged. It's Can, I think it's bugged, boys. Can you somebody uh, drop us a little Twitch prime in the chat, though? And, you know, I, th- I don't know what's going on. Twitch is, something's going on with our Twitch. There's something going on. So twitch.tv slash whatever drops the prime zone. And, and then also, Nick, could you pull up our Spotify and Apple thing? Guys, we got, yo, Dur- Durin. Durin, thank you for the gifted 10 subs. Guys, go to Apple Podcasts, find our podcast, whatever. Pod- the link is at the very bottom of the description for this video. Drop us a five-star review, boys. And then also write a little, a little review in the chat. Say something nice. Because we got we got uh, review bombed by some haters, and then also on Spotify, go to Spotify. Just drop us five stars, boys, over there on Spotify. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, Nick, I'll you can pull up. The banter. Think it up, or pull it up. Let's let's go. <clears throat> All right, make it a little bigger. Oh, I saw this. Okay, go ahead. Twenty-six. Twenty-two. How long you been together? Two years. years. If she gave you a guilt-free pass to sleep with anybody, would you take it? No, sir. <laughs> you you only you might get one pass, but at the end of the day, you want one wife, and this is the wife I want. So no. Okay. Now what about you? If he gave you one? If he gave me a guilt-free pass, I would take it. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. Sorry. That's who, crazy. Who would you take it with? Lindy Waters the third? Oh, no. Don't even know who that is. Not the third. Yeah, That's our problem. <laughs> <laughs> yup. Yup. Who else? Um, oh, Barry God. Sanders. I'm in love oh, with him. Oh, no. Now, what yeah, do you think who doesn't look like those him. men have over your men? Uh, they're professional athletes. That's crazy. <laughs> Shoot. Hey. Black or white? One is Native American and one's black. But do you think that any of those guys would go for you? Uh, Junior would. That's crazy. <laughs> hey, at the end of the day, it's whatever. <laughs> whatever. At the end of the day, I don't care. How, how old are you? Yikes. Bruh, okay. She would have been with him. She would have been with the guy holding the mic at this point. He, he had his arm around her. He could have just cinched it a little bit closer, you know? Just kind of, yeah, just cinched it a little bit. But no, he didn't. Aww. I wonder... Um, is it like a lot of those kind of on the street interviews though? I, I don't know. I don't want to throw the guy under the bus. He, he does a lot of those kind of clips, interviews. I wonder if a lot of those are staged though. It's, I mean, it could be real. I don't know. I think it's real. Do you think it was real? Yeah, yeah I think so. People say there some are some wild things. people. Yeah. <laughs> she had that. She had those answers yeah. ready. Mm-hmm. Is that said, a, is oh, that I've been thinking about this breakup? question. Is that, so going around the table, is that a breakup? Is that a dump? No. Yes, but that's just me. That's just you. Okay. What What do you think? Yeah, if I'm the guy. Right. For sure. Yeah, if you're the guy. He never yeah. loved me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so break up. Break up. Oh, I'd be gone. Yeah. She's foreshadowing. Here's your they're free like, pass. So for Bye. me, the reasoning <laughs> is is that they're professional athletes that will probably never look twice at her. But they so she said would. that they would. They probably would, though. She was good, she was good looking, actually. So yeah, she would take the whole team you know, at once. They'd probably spend <laughs> <laughs> it. So, yeah. If you would say that in front of your dude on camera. She was 26. Camera. He was 22, though. That was an interesting uh, 
typically that's women. also worrisome just that she's 26 and thinks that way hmm. yeah yo bro you I need a little advice you need some advice shoot me a dm my advice will basically say dump her that's it that's crazy that's crazy he's gonna he's gonna get clowns on he probably for the did. rest of his life mm -hmm. so did the girl like